Uh, so I'll be presenting this work that's a joint work with Manish Raghavan, Emma Pearson, John Kleinberg, and Nikhil Garg, and it's titled Reconciling the Accuracy, Diversity, Trade-Off, and Recommendations. So yeah, so in, when we study recommender systems, oftentimes when making recommendations, there are really two prominent objectives that people oftentimes care about, accuracy and diversity. So we can think about accuracy here as very simply just recommending a set of items and we want there to be a high percentage of items liked by the user. On the other hand, we also care about diversity. And when we talk about diversity, we mean that we want to recommend items that represent kind of a variety of different categories. So both of these are important, but empirically in practice, people find that these two objectives are actually conflicting. If you try to only maximize accuracy, then that will come at the cost of diversity. So if you optimize for accuracy, you might only end up with recommendations of like one type or of one genre perhaps. So this is, an, this is a problem. So as a consequence, there have been many different methods developed to kind of navigate this trade-off, to kind of figure out how we can properly balance these two competing objectives. And these are the kind of methods that are oftentimes used in practice. But there's something maybe a little bit unsatisfying about just having this idea that there are these two competing objectives of accuracy and diversity. For example, we might wonder, why is there actually even a conflict in the first place? If accuracy, in accuracy, we're trying to recommend the highest percentage of, of items that a user likes, how does that not already just incorporate the user's preference for diversity, for instance? And at the same time, without kind of a deeper understanding of what's the source of this trade-off, it's hard to really find a principled way to actually find the right balance. Why would we prefer to balance accuracy more than diversity in one situation or diversity more than accuracy in a different situation? So our approach is to introduce a third objective into this kind of, uh, into like our study. And that's gonna be user utility. And user utility in some ways is kind of the more fundamental thing that we actually really care about. It's what the users actually experience, what the users actually like gain from the recommendations. So our main observation is that user utility and accuracy are actually not exactly the same thing. In particular, accuracy, the percentage of items that a user likes, really is a measure of kind of the average value of items. You care about, of the entire set, how good, how high quality are these items as a whole. But in reality, users don't necessarily care about the average value of items. And the reason is because when we're shown a set of recommendations, usually we actually only want to use one of them. I'll show you a set of different movie recommendations, and oftentimes you'll only pick one movie. If I give you a set of restaurants, restaurant recommendations, you'll probably only go to one restaurant that day. So as a consequence, when shown a set of recommendations, usually what we really care about is actually the maximum value of items instead of just the average value. And this turns out to be useful since what we show is actually that while accuracy, considering the average value of items, is, is conflicting with diversity, considering this kind of subtle change to the maximum value of user utility, actually makes this, this objective is actually aligned with diversity. So under our theory, navigating the accuracy diversity trade-off isn't just balancing these like two competing desiderata, but rather you can kind of see it as using, using diversity to help steer accuracy, which is something that machine learning systems are like very good at, steering accuracy towards something that's actually more utility maximizing. So what we do is we consider a model, a very simple model of recommendations. And then under our model, we try to look at how diverse are the accuracy maximizing recommendations versus how diverse are the utility maximizing recommendations. So in this model, there are just M types of items, one through M. And you can think about these as being different genres of movies, for instance. And then under our model, there's a little bit of uncertainty about what type the user actually prefers. So here the user prefers exactly one type of item and they prefer type T with probability PT. So I'll call PT the type probabilities. So you might imagine that a user prefers comedy movies 80% of the time and action movies the other 20% of the time. So this uncertainty can come from just like users variation daily and like what, they, what their mood is, 
Or you can imagine this uncertainty coming from a, sh a, a lack of data about the user. Or even in an extreme case, you can imagine having no data about the user, and then your uncertainty is basically like some version of the cold start problem. So you might assume that their preference is distributed according to like the user distribution at large. So that's kind of a crucial aspect of our model. There's some uncertainty about what type of item the user prefers. So then, conditional on the user preferring a type, type T, we, let, we say that a user likes the ith item of type T independently with probability QTI, and that the user then never likes items of the other types. So if I'm in the mood for action that day, I don't want to watch any comedy movies. So we're going to let QTI here, the probability that conditional on being in the mood for type T, the user likes the ith item of type T, We'll let that, we'll call that uh, the conditional item probabilities. And PT and QTI in our kind of basic model here basically will parameterize like our entire uh, model setup. So then under the setup, we might, we, what we want to do is we want to recommend some set of n items. And then given some set, we choose a certain number of items of each type, and then we can calculate the accuracy, which is the expected proportion of items the user likes as well as the utility. And here the utility is the probability the user likes at least one recommended item. And this is kind of the qu equivalent to like what the maximum value of items are when the user can only use, uh, or when the items have kind of a binary value, okay? So here we imagine the user only really wants to use one item, so this is what we really care about. The probability the user likes at least one recommended item. So I'll give like a really simple example in our model. So here P1, the type probabilities are 0 0.8 and 0 0.2. So this represents a situation where maybe a user likes action 80% of the time, and a user likes comedy 20% of the time. And then QTI, these conditional item probabilities, will set as 0 0.5 for every item. And what that means is that, when, is that a user likes a given movie of the preferred genre with probability 0 0.5. So if I'm in the mood for action, and then someone shows me an action movie, then I'll like that action movie, movie with probability 0 0.5. So here you can see that the accuracy maximizing set of recommendations should contain only action movies, because then you'll get accuracy 0 0.8 times 0 0.5, which is 0 0.4, whereas if you recommend more comedy movies, that's only going to reduce the accuracy. So a kind of striking like first finding of this model is that when we want to recommend a relatively large set of items, we actually want to recommend an equal proportion of each genre. So despite the user liking action four times as much or four times as often as comedy, we'll want to actually give them a set of recommendations that represents each item or each type relatively equally. So to give some intuition here, if imagine I'm just recommending like one item at a time. So the first item, like I'll probably want to recommend an action movie since the user is most likely to want to watch action. But once I keep recommending more and more action movies, that's kind of not actually useful to me as a recommender since conditional on the user liking action, they probably like, like one of the first five action movies I show. So therefore I want to start recommending comedy movies. And interestingly, how like these kind of diminishing returns work out in this particular case is that leads to the fact that these type probabilities, P1 and P2, actually don't matter in the limit. So this is basically our first theorem. When the conditional item probabilities are constant, the accuracy maximizing recommendations are entirely homogeneous, whereas the utility maximizing recommendations are entirely diverse for large recommendation sets. So here we can see, like, for n small, you still want to recommend some more uh, action movies here. But as n grows larger, you'll see that kind of quickly converges to relatively equal proportions. OK, so now I'll return to this example. And now I'll kind of make it just a little bit more complicated. So here, once again, we have users like action movies 80% of the time and users like comedy movies 20% of the time. But now I'm going to let q1i equal to be, be equal to 0 0.5 and q2i to be 0 0.3. So what this means is that when the user is in the mood for action, the user likes a given action movie with probability 0 0.5, whereas when the user is in the mood for comedy, users like a given comedy movie with probability 0 0.3. So in some ways here, um, 
the quality of comedy movies is actually is kind of lower, or the platform is less certain about like which comedy movies are maybe the high quality ones. So here, like when we try to maximize accuracy, it's like even more clear that we want to recommend action movies. The probability a user likes a given action movie is much higher than the probability a user likes a given comedy movie here. But the utility maximizing set of recommendations actually includes more comedy movies. So this maybe shows how utility, even if it's kind of a subtle difference from accuracy, actually results in like quite like startling different conclusions sometimes. And the intuition behind this is that I can kind of satisfy the user when they're in an action, in the mood for action with just a few action movies, since they're like high quality action movies. Whereas when they're in a mood for comedy, I actually need to recommend or comedy movies to guarantee that they're going to like at least one of them. So this is kind of a subpart of uh, one of our theorems. And we kind of call this corollary the milk and ice cream theorem. And it kind of, rep it, because it reflects this kind of real world phenomenon where if you go to a grocery store, you'll see that like despite people like usually buying milk more frequently than ice cream, grocery stores will allocate much, much more space actually to ice cream. And the reason is that conditional on like liking ice cream, you actually like uh, are less likely to be satisfied by a given flavor of ice cream, perhaps. Okay, so our general model though like takes uh, this QTI and kind of generalizes. We allow some rate of item quality decay here, so we kind of let the quality of items within a type also decrease, and we basically show that the results that we that I've just presented in those specific examples also kind of carry through. So here we see that utility, the red line, is in alignment with uh, diversity. So the more diverse, the higher utility. So to kind of conclude here, our takeaways are that user utility, how we define it, is actually aligned with diversity, whereas accuracy isn't. So what this means is that if you're recommending homogenous recommendations, that actually might be suboptimal. And then our results also point to how much diversity is optimal. Even if users uh, watch one genre more than another, we actually might want to recommend still an equal proportion. And in fact, there are cases where platforms should actually recommend more items from types in which individual items are less likely to be satisfactory, like in the case of ice cream versus milk. Uh, so I'll stop there and take any questions.